Lamar Jackson is one of the most exciting prospects the NFL has seen in years. His future, however, has been highly debated as some see him more as an athlete than a quarterback. In his first few preseason games, he has shown flashes and can clearly dominate with his legs, but to have long-term success in the NFL, you have to have more than just speed. Overall, I think Lamar Jackson has great potential in this league. He showed many times in college his ability to control the game and make big-time throws. The big questions for me are, can he stay healthy? And will he be able to lead that Ravens team to a Super Bowl? So let's go ahead and jump in. We're simulating his entire career. If you guys want Barkley next, let's aim for 2,000 likes this video and comment down below another rookie or player you'd want to see a full career. So with also credit Young Narrow Gaming, he did this on NBA 2K My Team, uh, kind of branching the idea off of that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here we go, guys. We have Lamar Jackson. Uh, he's a 79 overall, just like Joe Flacco. Initially, I was like, I'm just gonna let this progress. He'll probably won't start off as a starter. Apparently, he is starting off as the starter on this team. Good for him. Let's look at his stats before we jump in. 91 speed, 93 acceleration. I figure by the end of this simulation, he's gonna be go down in history as like one of the top Russian QBs, assuming he doesn't get injured because injuries are on. Like everyone's saying in real life right now, Lamar Jackson, if he keeps playing like he does, I could definitely see him getting injured. I watched his game um, today and it was very like, some of the decisions he was making were like good and stuff, but did he look like a starter? I don't know. I think he has great potential though. Throw power 94. This looks like a created player, honestly. Lamar Jackson Madden wise is the greatest thing ever. Like he could really, really be a beast. They got Alex Collins right there too. So how this is going to work, the first three years, I'm going to sim the season. I'm going to talk at the end of all three just to give like updates on how he's doing every single year. And then I'm going to sim 10 years after that. We'll see how he's doing after 13 years. We're going to end it when he's still in the league so we can see his total passing yards. So I might not even do 13, I might do something like 12 uh, and kind of just gauge it as we go from there. Anyways guys, let's go ahead, jump into this, drop a like like I said in the intro, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in exactly one year. End of season one, let's go look, he's got four upgrades. So this is what I have to do at the end of every season. I just have to upgrade him as much as possible. I know his confidence is already up. But he gains points every single season, so this is something we have to do. So at the end of season one, he will actually be an 84 overall, which is pretty remarkable for just after your first season. That'll set him up pretty good for the future. Now, the one thing I'm curious to see, obviously, is how he did in his first year statistic-wise. 3,840 yards, 23 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, almost a 4,000-yard rookie year. Very, very impressive. The one thing, though that I didn't just look at that I'm regretting and I'm trying to like figure out how I'm going to work my way back there because I feel like an idiot. I, this is what I want to go. I want to look at the NFL stats. Uh, okay, rushing wise. There's something wrong with Madden. There's something wrong with the simulation in Madden that I literally can't do anything about. It is saying that he only rushed for 12 yards this year. I don't know if someone just broke both of his legs before the season, but eight rushes for 12 yards to me is stupid. Um, it is what it is, though. He's 11th in passing yards, 16th in the NFL in passing touchdowns, and 10th in passer rating. Pretty solid year. Let's just look at his career stats just to see if he... Uh, wait, wait, wait. One second. I want to see if he won Legacy. Did he win a Super Bowl or any awards? Yearly awards? I think he won Rookie of the Year. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did, he, did he win Rookie of the Year? Okay, so let's see. Did he win... And you can't even see. You can't see Rookie of the Year. Which sucks. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. It is what it is. Let's go sim to the next season. Season 2 here jumping in at the exact same spot. He's gained another plus 3. I was kind of thinking it might be more than 3 though. I don't know why. It's just something in my head was like, okay. It was going to be like 4 or 5 or something. But I guess an 86 overall after 2 seasons is not too shabby at all. He's obviously still the starter. On the I'm curious to see how he did yards wise if he went down because his first season was so good It would almost be difficult for him to match that 3,784 looks like he had almost the exact same season as he did before Let's see did they win the Super Bowl? Did they do anything in the playoffs? Looks like they did not his legacy score is nothing too crazy at the moment if you Look at his player stats though uh, throughout the year 26 Touchdowns 70 interceptions rushing. He still did nothing seven attempts for nine yards Quarterbacks in the simulation mode, and there's nothing I can do about that. Don't rush, which make this really, really frustrating. Uh, but I guess we'll get to see what he does from a pure passer standpoint. His career stats through two seasons, 7,624 yards, 
Obviously, he has a long way to go. 49 touchdowns, 20 interceptions, and a 60% completion percentage. I will see you guys in the next one. Overall, his start would be decent. I don't think it's as good as Baker Mayfield's. I really don't, but we'll see how he is in 10 years. You can't judge it by the beginning. He's got to get that overall up, get that accuracy up a little bit, and then we'll kind of see how he does from there. Okay, so season three, end of it. This is the last stop before we go on a little bit of a break. Now, during that break, I'm actually thinking about coming back at like seven or like three years from now uh, to check in on and boost all of his stats. I'm going to be boosting his stats every single year, actually. Don't worry about that. I just decided that, that would be the best thing to do just to keep him as relevant as possible. That's the only real fair way to do it. That gets him up to a 92 overall. Let's see how he did in season three. And I think a season three, if he's done above 4,000 yards, I would consider it a disappointment and he's stuck right at the 3,858. Now at this time, Baker Mayfield had already thrown for two, like 4,800 seasons, had led the league and Lamar Jackson has not done that yet. His interceptions are going down a little bit, but they went up in 2019. I don't know how I feel about this guy uh, in terms of like what Madden's giving him in terms of respect. Madden's not being too nice to him at the moment. Three yearly awards, but nothing else for Lamar Jackson. No Super Bowls, his team stats, his team's not doing very good and he's the leader of that team so anything that goes wrong kind of falls on him. 11,482 yards in his entire career. Okay, I'm going to see you guys in three years when we get another kind of indication of how he's doing, see what his like all-time records. I don't think at this pace he won't break any all-time records for touchdowns or anything uh, but let's go. I'll see you guys in three years. Hey guys, so I'm back. If I look like I'm sweating right now, it's because I am. This room that I'm in is so incredibly hot. I'm just going to be real with you guys. I don't even know how I'm recording right now. Try I'm enjoying it still. Trust me. But, like, it is so incredibly warm. Okay. So, we are, I believe, like, three or four seasons down there. Lamar Jackson is now going to be a 95 overall player, which is pretty incredible. He's probably going to reach, like, the 97, 98 over the span of our simulation. We are in, I think, 2024? Was this in, we'll be able to see all that in a second when we kind of look at his awards, look at certain things. This isn't like the full end simulation. This is not our end game. I just kind of want to see how did he do this year. So this season, 2024, 3,500 yards, 3,400 yards, 3,800 yards, 3,800 yards. So Lamar Jackson in his entire career has yet to do much. Rushing wise, I really, this bugs me about the game. I think this is really stupid that this is what we have to work with on the rushing side of the ball. It's almost frustrating me a lot just even looking at that, but it is what it is. Now, if we look at like his legacy, this is the other part that we want to look at this part of his career. How is his legacy doing? Where has he won any Super Bowls? Has he done much? Any conference finals? He hasn't won any championships or Super Bowls. Lamar Jackson's career, I'm not saying he's a disappointment. At this point, he's definitely not at the point where he's impressing anybody. 26,000 yards is really impressive, but He's quite a few seasons in. Now, how many seasons exactly? We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're seven seasons in, which means he only has five more seasons left in this simulation. We'll see how he does. He's got to kind of try and break this 3,500 thing, try and win some Super Bowls. Overall, he's having like a Matt Ryan-esque career, maybe a little bit worse. Uh, and the thing that looks rough is his last two seasons have been terrible. Like they've been worse than any other ones. Uh, lots of touchdowns, though, not a lot of interceptions, except for in this year. I will see you guys at the end of this entire thing when we will see just exactly how Lamar Jackson's career ends up. Very well be the last time you guys see me. This is the final upgrade to... Oh, he's dropping it overall. Okay, I figure he's going down. Okay, so this is the final time you guys are probably going to see me before the official retirement. 96 overall. The last time we'll actually get to look at his stats as a whole through this massive simulation. I do appreciate if you guys do drop a like because these are very long videos long and a little bit painful at times uh ended his career really solid a couple of really good years i'm curious did he win any like that's the main question if you don't win a super bowl can you really consider this many years to be like baker mayfield ahead of him no super bowl six yearly awards but no and to me when you see the no suit like baker mayfield he had one championship no super bowls as well but he had a little bit of a better career than lamar jackson at this point he's dropping down the last scene, you really don't get to see anything except for a Super Bowl. I will sim to the end of this whole thing. 
I don't, if there's nothing there, if there's literally no Super Bowls, this is probably going to be it for the video. If it is, God bless you guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, his final career numbers, let's just get his final career numbers real quick. They're not going to be Hall of Fame worthy, but definitely worthy of like some attention. 49,000 passing yards, um, 330 touchdowns, 59% completion, and his rushing numbers were very, very like minimal. 248 rushing yards, which is super unrealistic. I'm going to try and finish this sim. If you don't see me, thank you guys all so much for watching. That means they didn't win a Super Bowl and nothing happened in these last 10 years. God bless. See you all next time. Okay, so congratulations, Lamar. When a team's with a high draft ticket, it's counting on you to be more than just a solid pro. Expectations. Man, play 14 years at the highest level. Be proud. There you go. Number 127 of all time. You guys saw the stats. If you guys want to see Barkley, make sure to drop a like down below. It's for 2,000 likes. God bless each and every one. And I'll see you all next time.